Let's take a tour of adding and subtracting time. We have four problems here in front of us. Two addition, two subtraction. The first two are very clean and nice. And the second two, we will have to carry an hour or borrow an hour. So let's look at the first one. This is 11.23 plus 10.12. And these two vertical bars are just showing this is divided. This side is hours. This side is minutes for all of these. So let's look at the first one. It's an addition problem. 11.23 and 10.12. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 1 is 3. That's 35 minutes. Usually when we do time, we use these colons. And now 11 plus 10 is 21. Nice, clean, simple. The second one, a subtraction problem. We have 2255 minus 2035. And this is 22 hours, 55 minutes. 20 hours and 35 minutes. So 55 minutes minus 35 minutes. 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 minus 3 is is 2. 20 minutes. And now 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Good. And now let's look at these. This is a sub an addition problem. We need to add 45 minutes plus 25 minutes. And watch what happens here. 5 plus 5 is 10. 0, 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, 6, 7. Okay, we have 70 minutes. That looks strange to us. So we will talk about that in a second. Let's add the hours. 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 0 is 0. So 16 hours and 70 minutes. How many minutes in an hour? There are 60 minutes in one hour. So really right here what we have is an hour and 10 minutes in this 70. So if we take 60 minutes out of there and make it an hour, Right, so we subtract 60 from there. And that leaves us with 10 extra minutes and puts another hour on the 16, which leaves us 17 hours and 10 minutes. So this 70, which came from 45 plus 25 is 70, is actually one hour and 10 minutes. So we took 60 minutes out of there and made it into an hour we came up with 1710. And this subtraction problem is the same thing, but in reverse. We have 912 minus 823. So this 12 minutes minus 23, we need to get we need to borrow from over here and add 60 minutes. But let's do something first. We tell time every day all day in our head and most of this you can check with your mental math you can say things like this so from 1823 how many minutes till 912 if you had meetings at these times you would do this math so 23 plus 37 minutes gets you to 9 plus 12 more minutes gets you to 49 minutes that's that's the answer to this problem 49 minutes we just did in our head 23 plus 37 minutes is 9 o'clock, plus 12 is 49 minutes. That's the answer. But let's take a look at how the math works in this case. So 12 minus 23, we need more than 12 to minus 23. This 9, we can take one from here, right? So this will become an 8. And we borrowed an hour, but this one hour is actually 60 minutes, right? So it turns this 12 into a 72. Because we went, we took one hour, which is 60 minutes, we added to 12, now we're left with 72 instead of 12, right? We have an eight here instead of a nine, added 60 to the 12, became 72. And now we can do 23, we can do 72 minus 23. So 2 minus 3, you'll notice we need to borrow, and this is just normal. So this 7, we borrow 10 from here, and so this becomes a 12, and this becomes a 6. 
12 minus 3 is 9. 6 minus 2 is 4. It's colon. And now 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. So we came up with the same thing we did with our mental math, 49. But we, we borrowed this 9. We borrowed 1 hour. So it made an 8. That 1 hour is actually 60 minutes. So it turned the, seven, the 12 into a 72. And then we were able to do our regular math. Or we borrowed here and made 12 minus 3 is 9, 6 minus 2 is 4. So 49. And that's the same answer we came up with when we said, okay, from 823 to 9 is 37 minutes, plus 12 is 49 minutes. So if you ever get confused with this adding, especially with subtracting, if you get confused about subtracting, make sure you just take a deep breath and a step back and try to do it in your head and say, okay, to get from the bottom number to the top number, you add this many minutes and then this many minutes to it. And, and you can usually double check these in your head.